friends, welcome to Earn's World. So today it is the 64th episode in the geography series. So today we are going to discuss about another country and the country is France. So actually France is the 42nd largest country after South Sudan. But in like a... So we saw... So for those things, for the size, I saw in another website which was not Wikipedia. So in that website it only accounted for the mainland territory. But fun fun fact. France has many larger territories outside the mainland European territory. So because of that, Wikipedia has it in 42nd place. And that 42nd place is the actual place of France in the land area. Yes. So that's why we just for some time just skipping Kenya and going straight to France. Yes. So yeah, let's continue this. So first, France is a country that is located primarily in the region of Europe known as Western Europe. Yes. So, it, the mainland France is also known as the, the hexagon because it is in the shape of an hexagon. And yeah, hexagon. It's a hexagon. Yes. And also there's the small island of Corsica. But that's not a hexagon, that's just an oval. So it also includes overseas regions and territories in the Americas and Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. Yes, so there are many territories. So we will discuss about them in part 2 of France. Yes, so yeah, France. This we are going to make a part 2 about France. So in that video we will discuss about other things about France like the overseas territories and all of those are remaining things yes so it's a metropolitan area extends from the rhine river which is which goes to like this and to the atlantic ocean which is here and from the mediterranean sea in the south to the english channel to the, and the north sea in the north yes so next overseas territories include the territory of French Guyana in South, A South America, Saint Pierre and Miquelon in North America. So because of this, French Guyana, um, France is also in North America and South America. Yes. So next, and, uh, and it also has m many islands in the West Indies and in the Indian Ocean, as well as the Pacific Pacific Ocean. Yes. The French Polynesia is complete large island chain of all French islands. Yes, are ones which are colonized by the French. So it's in 18 integral regions span a combined area of 643,801 square kilometers. Yes, so five of the regions are not in Europe. They are in other regions of the world. Yes, so, so like there are two classifications for fans. I mean three. First is mainland France or metropolitan France which, which, which has the, lex, the hexagon or mainland France as well as Corsica and then there's the overseas France. So these are departments which are just part of France, the part of mainland the Republic of France. It has the same laws and even in the EU, even if they are not even in Europe, yes, countries not in the European Union. They are in Europe. Yes, they are not even countries. They are literal part of France. There is no difference between them and France. They both are the same. Except the size and the continent like that. Yes, meanwhile and finally there is the other classification is a territory. Just like the modern colonies. Yes. So they are similar to the mainland dependencies but they are kind of autonomous compared to those departments. Yes, so those are the three main classifications. Yes, so the population of France is 68 million. It is one of the most populous countries in all of the European Union. Yes, so next is capital is the very famous city of Paris which has the Eiffel Tower. So uh, the river Seine goes here. It, it even turns in, I mean, a tributary even joins this river in that city only, Paris. Yes. So next, the official language is of course French. They're France. That's why. Yes. So the nationality of France, so that means the people living inside it, are 92.3 percent French people. And then 7.7% .7 or other people like any other migrants, immigrants, others. Yes. 
So next, the religion here is 50% Christianity, 33% people with no religion. Next, and 4% Islam, Islamic people, and then 2% Buddhist and 1% Judaists. Yes. So next, the currency of France is the Euro, which is the main currency which is used in the Eurozone of the European Union. And then is the CFP franc. It is not that much used nowadays, but still kind of used. Yes. And then just some borders here. Yes. So first in South is Spain, the country of Spain. Yeah. Next in again in South are two other countries. They are Andorra and Monaco. These two countries are very small, by the way. Next here is the country of Italy, just to the east, and even Sardinia. Okay. So next here there is Switzerland to the east again, as well as that there to the east and northeast there is Germany, and then to the northeast there is Luxembourg, the small country of Luxembourg, and Belgium. Yes, and again it has borders with two countries which you cannot even guess mostly. So first let's just put like this. And those countries are Suriname and the country of Brazil. Yes, and the largest land border of France is not even in Europe. It is not Spain, not Germany, but Brazil. And so, and so, Brazil is the longest. I mean, the country with France, which has the longest land border with them and also there's another country which borders france and you also cannot expect this in the small caribbean island of saint martin so that island is split between both two countries the netherlands and france and there both of the two countries border each other and then yeah so in this small island in the caribbean there is the northern Netherlands part as well as that the southern French part. So this island from France is known as Saint Martin while the Dutch call it Saint Martin. Yeah, there are some differences between French and Dutch. So yeah, this is for today about the France. Bye and there will be a part too soon. Yeah, bye.